Hi, this is a different sort of video for me. It's a quick little one, it's an easy one to do, but it might be a bit of fun, and it could be a way of helping you learn these characters. So what I'm doing today is I'm doing a Katakana tier list. I have my laptop here. I'm gonna go through every single Katakana and grade them on a scale. So let's get into it. Before I get going, I just have to make a disclaimer. This is not a critique on the language itself. It is purely a fun thing. It's just from my experience learning the language and that's all I can really comment on. So without further ado, um, let's get into things. Starting off with the katakana ah. Let's do the uh, vowel sounds first. Ah, I like it. Um, kind of looks like a tongue coming out of the mouth. Someone saying ah, that's very helpful. But I have to also say that it's very similar to ma. For that reason, I'm going to go with not a simple B tier for ah. Uh, next is e. You know what? No problems there. E, nice and easy. That's not how I remember it, but um, feel free to use that if it helps. Let's put an A tier. I think it's, it's nice. Ooh, got to give this one props. It is very similar to its Hiragana counterpart. And um, yeah, I think of the story I first heard when a woman got hit on the head by a brick and she went, ooh, and that is what the symbol represents. I mean, I might as well do a story for each of these if I remember one. That might be helpful. So yeah, that's what this is turning into. So I'm going to go... I'm going to go A tier for U. I think it's really good, but I'm not overly passionate about it. Eh, nice and simple. Um, not much there as a sideways H. Um, you know, I just look at it and think, eh. So, you know, C tier. Moving on, we have O. Again, similar sort of thing to its Hinagana counterpart. Not quite with the, you know, the round bit at the bottom. Uh, but, you know, I, I think it's, it looks like a little person. Um, that's a ka, uh, quite a powerful uh, shape. Um, again, looks like it's similar to its Hinagana counterpart. It reminds me of the cliff that a ka drew, uh, drove off of. Um, so, yeah. A tier. Ki, looks like a key. That's S, I think it's really cool. Ku, um, would be really top tier for me. I think it's got a nice dynamic shape but it's way too similar to the next one, which is ke. So I'm going to put them both. I'm going to put ku at a, a b. Now, you know what? I like ke a little bit more. So I'm going to do ke up above. Don't actually recall the story I used in my early days to remember these. Um, but yeah, ku and ke. Make up your own story, maybe. Or Google one. I'm sure there's one out there. Ko. It looks like a cup of coffee. Um... Very simple design, I like it. A tier. Uh, sa. This one I have issues with because it looks like it should be the katakana for se, but it's not. It's the katakana for sa. Um, so for that reason, I'm going to give it D. I like it. Mm. C or D, C or D. I'll say D for now. Got to fill it up. She. I'm going uh, D for that one. It's way too similar to some other ones, and that's that frustrates me. It, it always frustrates me. I get them now. I know them now. But in my early days, it was a very confusing thing, and it still takes me a split second longer for those ones than it does for the other ones. Sue. Um, not a shape. I'm, I'm giving an S tier. Don't know why. I just like it. You can disagree if you want. Se. You know what? Se kind of does look like the Hiragana Se. Even though I said Sa does, they kind of got both and combined them. Mm. B, I guess. So, very similar to. Mm. Um, so, I'm going to D tier for that one. Ta, kind of looks like a tongue, but that's not the most helpful. Uh, way to learn it because then you've got ma and a look like tongues. Um, kind of looks like a T, like a, like a little, like a, like a, kind of looks like a coop but with a line through it. Um, it's fine. C tier. Chi. Don't know why. I, I really like chi. Um, A. Uh, tsu. Tsu is one of those ones that just. Um, nope, you're going to do too. 
Uh, care. I love it. Do I love it or do I just like it a lot? I like it a lot. That's going a. No, you know what? S tier. Care. I, I think of words like test, like test dot. Um, so I, I just see it a lot. To. It looks like somebody's toe with something sticking out of it. That is remember. Um, am, I, am I being too liberal with S tier? I'm putting an A. I'll do A. Um, nah. Um, looks like a cross. Looks like someone going, nah. Uh, disagreeing. So that's, that's great. That's, that's a nice A tier. A is getting really full. Ni, got to give it an S tier. That's ni and it's two lines. Ni, that, that, that's literally how you'd write two in kanji. So, um, it needs no more. Uh, nu, um, similar to other ones. I can't remember how I learnt this, but I'm going to put it in C. It's not remarkable. Ne. Um, the first time I learned Japanese, the way I was taught to remember this was just, it was so much going on that you would never be able to remember it. I guess. <laughs> it's sort of like, an issue because there are other ones that at points in my life I thought I'd never be able to remember. So, um, complicated relationship with ne. I'm just going to put it in the C tier. Uh, okay, no. Looks like a strike through. Looks like it's um, somebody doing a line and then they'll say, do you want to put any more effort in? And they went, no. Sounds like an S tier for me. Ha, huh. kind of looks like, ha, huh. they're all thoughts either way on ha, huh. so let's see, he, I think he is quite distinct, that's a, that's a B, that's a B, who, um, kind of looks like a mouth, I don't know the who is difficult to say because it's kind of like it's not a who and it's not a foo, it's a who, and I'm probably not even saying it right then. Um, it's a B. Heh. It's more or less it's hiragana counterpart. That's an A tier for me. Ho. I only see this one so much because it's in hotel. And being somebody who travels Japan quite a lot, that's that's going to come up. That's, that's common. So I see it a lot. You to remember. Nothing else about it. So that's, um, that's a B tier. Ma. As I said with A. Uh, it's, it looks like a mouth with a tongue. I remember it being on that slant as opposed to that, but um, yeah, I don't remember the story for this one. So I'm going to put it in a same as ah, that's only fair. B tier. Kind of like it. Me. Three lines. Who enjoys just writing three lines on a page and not doing any more effort? Me. That was a weak story. Uh, <laughs> I'm putting that as a B. Moo. Mu is one of my absolute favourites. I think Mu is my favourite uh, katakana. Um, so S, I think it's, for whatever reason, the time I was first learning these in high school, back when I did high school Japanese, I didn't do great in high school Japanese, I didn't start properly learning to a lot later, but Mu reminded me of the symbol, I think it was like a symbol that appeared in the first Assassin's Creed game, of all things. I think it was... When the game was loading, you'd have this little triangle symbol. And that reminds me of that. And I played that a lot when I was in high school. The first Assassin's Creed game. So I've always loved Moo. It's always been easy to remember and it's fun to draw. I find anyway. Nice little triangle. S tier. Meh. I don't like meh. I know it's... I know I've said that it's another cross. Um, I did give... I did give... Nah. A tier, but I think meh is, is the worst nah. So meh, C tier. Mo. It's nice. It's kind of like the, it's actually not, it's like the Hiragana one, and that's great for me. So that's, that's A tier. Um, nah. This whole R line. No, it's not really R, but that. Da di do do um, not massive fans of the pronunciation of those because it's taken me so long to even get this far and get away from saying ra ri ru e ro. Um, but I like ra. Oh, sorry. Nah. Um, similar to its hiragana. That's, 
that's a we're filling up a tier quite a lot. Um, di again, similar to hiragana, love it. Do I see that a lot as well? I was gonna say I see it a lot, just like the ho in hoteru, because do is in, at the end of hoteru, and a lot of a lot of gaidaigo used do. I think that's not that's not a stat. That's just top of my head. I think um, so that's going a as well. Uh, there, that's easy to remember. It's a no. It literally looks like a rock or a uh, dock. It's it difficult when you cut the kind of eyes words when you're saying them and you try and combine it with an English. It's it's a tier. It's nice and easy. Um, Mm. Uh, same reason I don't like so and and she and tsu it's just way too similar <laughs> and again I've had this explained to me so many times like a, like a, how they um they go different ways and you and you do the strokes and it, and it makes it look different and I get how the so is sort of almost there it's, they touch, touch the top and with the mm, they touch the side I get that but it takes a split second longer to identify them when I see them um, unless it's in a word I already know, if I see it in a new word, it takes me a bit longer. Um, let's go. Yeah, I like it. It's it's kind of like it's it's nice and dynamic. A or S? I think if I got doubt, I'll go A because S is the ones I should be like. Yeah, instantly know I like it. Um, you, um, you might have like a hook. Um, I can't think of a good story for that other than you are a captain hook. Yeah, it's um, it's it's, it's fine. It's B. Yo. I don't know why, but I think of I think of shoveling snow when I see this. It's kind of like three fingers. Um. Uh, it's easy. It's like a backwards E from, you know, uh, C, uh, yeah, C. And then final, we'll go with Wa. Um, kind of shaped a bit like a W from the outside, and it has a little top like an A. So it kind of does communicate subtly that it is pronounced Wa. Um, and that'll be a B tier for me. Um, so yeah, I've left out some more obscure characters but um that is all the main ones really and that's my tier list which you can see wherever i decide to put it whether it's up there or down there or i'm i'm somewhere small that's my tier list so hopefully you found something out of that hopefully i gave you some stories as well to remember things and let me know what your favorite katakana is thanks for watching follow me on twitter if you haven't or if you want to no pressure don't need to don't know why i said so forcefully Thanks for watching. Do the like, comment, subscribe. That all helps as well. Again, not required. Just would help me out a lot if you like the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.